can. So we've seen the parameters of this now. It's the 50-50 split we expected. Uh, this one part that's easy to understand is the part from the 50-50 in terms of 50 percent public, public financing, 50 percent yeah. private financing. Yeah. The easy part is the the private part because we know what Herb Cole is putting in and the owners are putting in. 100 million public, for Herb, 150 the public for the parts. A little harder to parse it, our way through. So give it your best shot. Well, it, you know, when I was in school as an elementary school kid, we had this thing every Friday where we'd get this soup where they would give us everything that we hadn't eaten during the week and they would pour it into this thing and we'd, Did we'd we eat it. <laughs> it was horrible. But that's that's what this reminds me of. Every part of the deal, it's, it's like everything's been thrown in there. You first have the state, which is pretty easy to understand. They have $55 million in bonds they're going to issue. It'll eventually cost about $80 million uh, to pay off those bonds. That's easy to understand. The city is pretty easy to understand too. They're going to build a uh, parking garage, the Tom Barrett parking garage, that will have 1,240 mm -hmm. slots that you can park in. That'll cost about $35 million. And then they'll have a TIF district, a tax in incremental financing district. And they were go are going to put $12 million up front and then recover the money through the TIF. And then it gets a little bit complicated. You have the Wisconsin Center District Board, which currently oversees the um, the UWM Arena, the theater, and the convention center. The convention yeah. center. And um, they have several small taxes that they use to pay off the debt on those. Well, the idea is that once those debts are paid off, the Wisconsin Center District will take those taxes and dedicate them to the arena, and it's going to come to about $93 million. This won't happen until in the year 2028. So this deal, very much backloaded. And there's a question as to whether the legislature has to vote to reauthorize those taxes, something that Walker and, and the Republican legislature probably won't want to do, um, but I mean, that's open for debate. But then it gets incredibly complicated with the county. Um, the county has done something where they call it certifying their debt, which is basically, as I understand it, saying we currently have a firm that tries to collect our, our, our debt that we have out there. It's about $55 million worth of it. We're now going to switch that, give it to the state, and ask the state to try to collect that money for us. And we're hoping they collect at least $4 million a year for the next couple decades. And that revenue will go to the Bucks and the arena. And if they don't collect the money, then the county would have that money withdrawn from the, the state aid that they receive each year. So right. very risky. All right. So I'm thinking I plan to buy a new car and I'm going to certify my debt to somebody else. <laughs> right. We'll figure that out. But let's start with uh, Patrick Marley and Madison. I know. Uh, Th there's one other part of it that, that I forgot to mention, and that the last, and, and, and this isn't any big surprise, the state has agreed to pay off the last $20 million in debt on the Bradley Center. So the state's obligation ends up being about $100 million.